Hi guys and welcome to today's video. We've had a request for when you break the balls and you have a layout on the table, how do you decide whether you go for reds or yellows? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this pack, have a look at the layout and talk through what I'm thinking when I'm deciding what color set to go for. Okay, so let's hit this back. Second ball down. Okay, so normally when I split a table like this, the first thing I do is just take one color set. So I take reds, for example. So I look at reds here. First of all, I look for is my first ball. Do I have one available? These obviously don't go. This one is available. Okay, so that would be my only first ball on reds. Then I try to play the finish out in my head. Could I pop that? Could I get into here, take these out, play this into here, this into here, and black in the bottom? Potentially. I then have a look at the yellows. What's my first pot? I have pots available up here. None of these are any issues. I have this one. This is the only potential problem, and I have to get into a nice area. But I have this as a link ball to get onto this into the middle straight away. Or well, they can be my last two balls if I really wanted to. I could come up, play these now, play the finish out in my head, and then take those two out last. So the things that I'm doing to decide what color set I want is one, is the first ball a good option? Is it a good link ball to my next balls? Can I see a good route? And also with my potential problems on the table, are there other connector balls or link balls to be able to try and get into that? This table is pretty open. And I think because of how open the yellows are, I think they're the color to go for. So I would probably go this one here, come out into this area, play this one, and then come out into the area for these two. I'll have this as my last ball into one of the three pockets to travel down here. Once I've done my transition, I'll play this yellow for this one into the middle, and then the black potentially into the right middle. That is pretty tight in there. Okay, so let's see how it plays out. I'm just going to play this with bottom spin. Okay, now I've left myself a little bit of an angle. I can play this with a little bit of right-hand side. Just come off the cushion out into an area where I've got options. I've got a little clip on the yellow ball which has not worked out too bad for me. Probably play this one into the top now and screw off the side cushion for the one that's next to it. I don't want to be making contact with it ideally. So I've dug into it really well, played it bottom left. Okay, now I have two options. Drop this one in and leave the angle on this or play this one and leave the angle on this, which I think I'm going to do that. Question is what angle do I want? I'm just going to bring this back a couple of inches, bottom of the cue ball. Piece of hair on the table there. Right, now I've got an option. I can either punch down the middle here or try and punch down there. I think if I punch down the middle, I can play that off of the cushion and drop into this area, which is a better choice for me. So I'm going to try and screw through the gap. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so if I play this now with left-hand side off the cushion, I'm probably going to get to about here, which means I'll have to play that, and then it's quite tight, and then I'll be bumping into the red, and I'll leave myself a half-tricky one. If I play this with running right-hand side, so 2 o'clock on the cue ball, I'll nick the right side of the pocket, and my white will come off the side cushion, off the right cushion, and get me a little bit closer to my yellow, which is ideally what I want. So I'm going to play top right. Okay, see the difference it makes? Because I've played that with a little bit of extra position. I've taken the risk of a more difficult shot. It's actually got me on my ball better. And this offers me a better line now. I mean, if I was here, a millimeter to the right, I could roll through and the black would be in the middle. It would be perfect. But now I'm going to just stun this back to here and play the black in the top. But when you're much closer to your work, it becomes more unmissable. 
when you're closer to what you're doing. Okay, Let's play the black in the top. And that's today's finish. Okay.